All right, so the last little video, I am going to show you a um, different kind of scenario that could occur with your boxes. So if you have your boxes anywhere where the horizon line touches it, it could be in the middle of the box, kind of like this. It could be towards the base of the box, like this. Um, and I also drew, I just drew a little extra box on. You don't have to do a box on, but I want to talk to y'all a little bit about that little scenario. Um, so this one right here, you're not going to have a top or a bottom because this eye level can only see this much. It can't go under the box or over the box. So you're gonna end up taking this corner and this corner to your vanishing point. You'll make your solid line and you'll do your little dotted guidelines there. And then you're gonna take this corner there. It may feel a little awkward because this almost uh, feels like this line is going straight because it's so near the horizon line. And then what you're gonna end up doing, you're gonna close this thing out with a straight line there. And if this line needs to be dotted, this one here, you can do that there. All right. So the next one, so you can kind of see there's just a, a front and then there is a side. So the next one you have, it is almost centered exactly with this. So you're gonna end up taking this and this side to your vanishing point. And these lines are not as diagonal as some of the other lines. The further away you get from the horizon line and your vanishing point, the more askew, the more diagonal or orthogonal, that's a kind of a fancy word for it, that your, your lines are gonna be. So just make sure you make your back line exactly parallel, exactly straight, and we know how to do that. So the next little thing that I wanna show you is this scenario. This one is exactly on your vanishing point, centered on the horizon line. So if I can try as I may to take this stuff to my vanishing point, but I, I, I can't, it won't happen. So the only thing that I can do, and you wouldn't even have to do this, if you drew um, anything to you, your vanishing point, you would make an X. That's all you get, because nothing will happen, it's just on. So it, it ends up looking uh, very two-dimensional, but it is 3D. So I, I hope that is helpful. I hope that uh, you got have a good time with this thing, but uh, you, you are going to do at least two below, you're going to do two above, and you're going to do two on. Um, you can arrange it whatever way you want to, make different sizes. If you want to do more than that, that's absolutely fine. It is up to you.